And now to our market monitor, who likes deep value stocks. He says investors should be buying at these lower levels. The last time he was on in December, he rec recommended ExxonMobil, which is down 20 percent because of the drop in oil prices. Europe hedged equity down just a percent. And Memorial Production Partners is off more than 50 percent. Greg Abella is the portfolio manager at Investment Partners Asset Management. Nice to see you. Welcome back Thanks again. First of all, tell me what you see in this week's action. What does it tell you about the market? The market's trying to digest uh, a number of different data points, uh, data out of China that doesn't seem to sync up with a country that's growing at 7 percent GDP, mm -hmm. uh, currency devaluations that uh, are trying to uh, sync up to try to um, get exports in line for a lot of developing countries. So just a, a lot of noise out a there in the noise. market. All right, deep value stocks. For those who don't know, what what basically are they? Oh, they're companies that tend to trade at discounts to their book value or trade at uh, deep discounts to their earnings. Uh, and uh, they're companies that may be in a turnaround phase. Okay. Let's take a look at your picks. We mentioned Memorial Production Partners, which you had last time, so you still are recommending that stock. Why? Uh, well, the price target uh, from analysts is still roughly about the same level as the last time I was on. Mm -hmm. uh, it trades in line with oil, uh, but it's one of the most rigorously hedged uh, ma master limited partnerships in the space and pays a really nice uh, dist cash distribution, currently a 17 percent at this wow. level. And the price target is uh, $13.31. Uh, government Properties Real Estate Investment Trust, GOV is the symbol. Uh, it's, it, if you're an investor who wants the government to pay you, this is a, a good place to start. It's a real estate investment trust uh, that it owns government uh, office buildings, mm -hmm. uh, pays a 10 percent dividend yield. Uh, the government tends to pay its rent on time. And are they long-term tenants? They tend is to the be US very long-term. the long term They tend to be very long-term tenants, and the, the buildings are green buildings, so it's not easy for the government to move out of one building and into another. Does, does a change in interest rates affect a real estate investment trust the same way it might affect another real estate type property? Uh, that or any fixed income uh, investment. And the, I think that's already been discounted in the price, which you is do. why it's down so much. Uh, but, you know, at, at about seven or eight times earnings, it's cheap. Seven plus, or eight, yeah. Plus that yield. Uh, Micron, that stock has been really hit very, very hard. Very hard. Uh, and, and trading at these cheap levels, it's attracting value investors like myself, and it also has. Uh, uh, union group from uh, China who's apparently trying to make a takeover bid mm -hmm. for $23 billion. I don't know if it'll be successful, but uh, at, at this valuation, it's cheap enough, I think, that it's attracting a lot of interest. So it would be a deep value stock, but it, you also could play it for the potential of takeover. Uh, you, you could. Also, you could play for the potential of growth. They've just developed with Intel uh, a microchip that's uh, a NAND chip that is uh, a thousand times faster and has, has ten times the storage. Um, of other NAND competitors. So, how long do you usually hold a position in any of these deep value stocks? Are you long term or, Very long or term, short term? Usually, uh, and um, you know, particularly the ones that are paying income. And if you believe oil prices, in the case of Memorial, ultimately will be way higher. Uh, it's something that you hold for the very long term and get paid while you wait. Now, you mentioned the uh, Memorial uh, product production with oil prices being so volatile this week. Does that make a, diff a difference in the way you look at the stock? Because now we're up above 45 again. I think some of that is some short covering from people that uh, were expecting the price to go way into the 30s and it didn't happen. So it's not a fundamental for this particular stock? Uh, it, 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 it trades in line with oil, so you have to take that into account. But ultimately, I think that uh, oil will probably end the year at somewhere around 60, and then de further in the future will be substantially higher. Okay. Greg, thank you. Have a great weekend. Thanks nice for having me. Nice to have you here. Greg Abella with Investment Partners Asset Management.